Hello, hello. Today is day 12 of our 21 days, and we're, today we're going to tap on, um, I'm going to read it, loud noise, video, audio, and even music make my heart race and put my teeth on edge. Doesn't help that my husband is hard of hearing, and that that is, that is hard, and <clears throat> like you said, especially if he's unwilling to hear your hearing aid, uh, wear his hearing aid. So a couple things where I would go with this, um, Nancy, is... What happens between you and your husband about it? Like, you, you know, it's it's your problem is what it sounds like he's saying. And what do you feel about that, being told it's your problem and yet you're not wearing your hearing aids? Do do you guys argue about it? Do you, walk, I mean, do you suppress that? Because the first thing I would recommend, I'm not going to do that here, is I would recommend whatever frustration that you feel with your husband about it, that you rant, tap on it and Rant tapping, if you don't know what it is, is you just tap through the points and you literally rant out whatever you're feeling about it. Like, oh, he's so infuriating. I can't believe he doesn't wear his hearing aids. And oh, he acts like it's my fault. And let yourself have that truth, the unadulterated truth. And if you do that in a private, safe, and healthy way for yourself, you dispel that energy. And that's huge to allow yourself all that frustration and you know like how dare he says it's my fault he won't wear his hearing aid so so give that a voice and tap through it and give it a voice until you start to feel like you laugh about it or it just feels ridiculous to you so you want to do that as well um the other thing that i would say this is just what comes to me about this you have an overactive nervous system i have an overactive nervous system and I, I, mine's calmer than it used to be, but it's still way too, it's, it's overactive. So it, what, I, what I'm guessing is just the chronic stress has built up. And then if new, st stref, new stress comes along with chronic stress, we're just less available to handle it in a way that's healthy and good for us. Um, because, and then you're going to listen to loud noises. I mean, I've done that where... I'm in a car where my husband and I are driving someplace for a length of time and all of a sudden, you know, you're like, the music just feels like noise. It's not even, it's, it might be music that I can normally enjoy, but it just feels like noise and it's annoying. So one or the other of us will turn it off if we feel that way. That to me is a mark of an overactive nervous system, a nervous system that's really never been able to relax. I don't know if you meditate um, but I would recommend you at least try it. I, I love the app 10% Happier. I can't say enough about it. I meditate every day now because of that app. So um, if you if you want a guest pass, just private message me because I can give you a guest pass. So far, I still have plenty of them. Um, and you get to try it for free for 30 days. And you don't have to um, put a credit card in and then... I believe after that if you try the 30 days I think they give you a discount of $47 for the year if not it's basically a hundred bucks for the year which to me is a bargain because you get that for 12 months but so I would also recommend that you find even if it's uh, the other things I'd recommend is throughout your day is just take those little tiny pauses and just take a couple breaths and actively lower your shoulders relax your neck relax your jaw just pay attention. It's not like you have to sit and meditate for 20 minutes. It's just, wow, how tense is my body? I've been doing that a lot, you know, like when I drive and stuff, and I know it's helping me because you've had a lot of momentum and a lot of buildup to get your nervous system to the point where it's so overactive. So you just, the other key is just to know that it's going to take time to unwind that. And that, that, Offers, it, offers us an opportunity to start to practice patience and kindness with ourselves and compassion. But let's tap. So those are suggestions, karate chop. Even though I think my nervous system is really overactive, loud noises, videos, even music I love can overwhelm me. I choose to honor this truth right now. Even though with this overactive nervous system, hey Barbara, when I hear loud noises, video, even music I normally love, my heart starts to race 
and it puts my teeth on edge. I deeply and profoundly accept myself anyway now. And go to the eyebrow. These loud noises. My overactive nervous system. My nervous system needs a break. And I'm not sure how to get it. What if I can do micro things throughout the day to start to help my nervous system heal? In fact, let me try it right now. Let me just take a breath. Let me relax my shoulders. Let me relax my jaw. Close my eyes. I can keep tapping like this or not. And just actively lower my shoulders. Actively relax my jaw. Actively act like I'm a rag doll. Give my body a break. My body carries a lot of buildup in it. And what if I can tap through any irritation any anxiety, any stress I feel to help take the edge off. And then maybe after I've tapped, intentionally relax my body, even for just a minute. And what if by doing that, over time, I start to notice I'm calming down a bit. Maybe I notice I'm not quite so irritated. My teeth aren't quite so much on edge. Maybe my heart's racing a little bit less rapidly. And what if that's all evidence that my body and my nervous system are calming down? I kind of like that idea a lot that each day throughout the day, I can make these micro shifts to help soothe my nervous system and ultimately calm my body down, body, mind, and spirit. Take a breath. So Nancy, for you, I can't recommend that app enough to give that a try because I think that th this is the two things. Tapping is so great for the irritation and all that, and it really does help calm our nervous system. I find it helps to also um, take those deep breaths. So try that and see what you think. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Good, bar good to see you, Barbara. Bye-bye.